as you've heard, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the last episode, we started exploring some of the Akawa region up here. We have a lot we wanna do in today's episode, starting with, of course, there is a shrine over that way. There is a dragon in the sky over here. I wanted to make sure, yeah, this is Dinral. We got a picture of them. And I wanted to, of course, get to the Akala Skyview Tower that you can sorta of kind of see over this mountain. And then after all that, I know Terrytown is somewhere nearby. Lots of stuff to get to, for sure, but it will all be worth getting to, so I really wanna get into it. So first off, over here, where is this gonna be? Because if it's too far off, I might just mark it for later. It's pretty far. <laughs> you know what I could do? Here, uh, what I'll do just in case I need it is I'll mark this on the map, and then I'm just gonna hook a rocket to you, and if we catch up to you later, great. If we don't, then whatever. All right, take out the vice. There you go. And uh, let's see how far you go. No, no, Ooh, okay, yeah. Let's get you down there then. And then once you're lined up a little bit more. Something like this. <laughs> this might work out, it might not. Okay, definitely won't if you're like this. So what if I just angled you like this? Okay, that's good enough, right? No. Um, all right, well, I tried. <laughs> let's go and figure out this shrine over this way, I think. That guy's probably just gonna come stumbling back down later anyway, so we could try it again. But I wanna check out the shrine, just one extra little spot for us to just get out of the way. The Maya Shadeg Shrine here in Elden Canyon. Oh, so it looks like it might be another battle shrine. No armor allowed in this one. This shrine imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. Outside equipment is forbidden beyond this point. We've dealt with quite a few of these before. We'll see how this one goes. Proving grounds, the hunt. I only got one little wooden stick this time, but we have one little enemy. So what does it mean by the hunt? Am I hunting them or are they hunting me? This is a new device. What is this? Whoa, whoa, okay. It's like a, like a robot that just like traverses the ground. And I guess it'll just start attacking the robot for me. I mean, that's great. That's really useful. All right, thank you, friends. I'll take this Soldier Reaper and look at that. Very cool. So hopefully they'll make their way over to the next set of enemies, but maybe I can move them along a little bit. Here. Oh, you know what? Here, let's turn you off for a moment. Like that and like this. I see these spikes up here, which could make you extra dangerous. So cool. So. Do something like this, and then attach it, I guess, to the front, right? Good enough. Um, do the same deal over here. Then we'll try to move them forward, and I guess just turn them on, and see how that goes. This is so neat. I love being able to get a new um, type of thing. So, send you forward, you'll look for something, I'm sure. We'll grab this other one. And then I might just wanna center this out now. Like that, perfect. And then, I guess same deal, I might send you out this way. And eventually, eventually something will happen here. I don't know if they have like run out of health at some point, but might as well get another friend over there, get that one to get going. And there's so many of them over this way. Now let's switch over to this. I have this thick stick that I probably just wanna com combine. Uh. Something like this. We will fuse it really fast or not, because I never dropped it. Cool. I'm trying to uh, deal with you now. Okay, there's a lot going on. There is a lot going on. I might just try for the crazy spinning moves. Uh, I don't know if this is gonna work. It's sort of working. Okay, it's badly damaged. I hit them pretty good with that though. I'll toss this over and I will switch to another weapon. We got this soldier reaper over here. There's just so many people. My robots are still helping, sort of, kind of. Oh, you got knocked over, poor guy. Here, hold on, hold on, leave me alone. There we go. I just need some assistance here because there's so many enemies trying to get me at the moment. Ooh, these spiked balls, huh? I don't know if I'll be able to do too much with them, but if you guys are over here, I can at least roll it down the mountain a little bit. Ow. Okay, do this, and then as soon as you are trying to get me, maybe I could, ooh, I see you. I see you doing that. Okay, I almost dodged him, but then somebody else hit me from mine. Okay. Knock out this one, because they will give me some good stuff, for sure. Um, but the problem is, everybody is being not so nice. I would like to go to my fusion thing, 
and switch to this weapon, fuse with my wooden stick, make quite the powerful combo there. These guys are still chasing me. Come on, come on, ready? At least knock you off the side, so that we have our two friends over here. Uh, will that work? I don't think it will. I need to turn it on first. Oh, come on, I'm trying to hit it. They just swarm you here. I know I need to get the other ones activated, but it's hard when there's like 10 of them trying to kill me. So we'll try that again. Continue and see if I can't do it this next try. Okay, I got an excellent plan this time. We're gonna run up with this and see if this can maybe work as a little bit of a protection. This could be fun. It could also be a disaster. Only one way to find out and that's to hop on top and get going. So now they can't really get to me here. Either they're calling all their friends over. This doesn't hurt me. Okay, that's good. And then if they try to come over from this side, that's when I can just swing at them a little bit. Yeah, like get out of here, get out of here. <laughs> oh no. So far it's sort of working. It's also sort of not working. So um, maybe now the time to slam and then slam again. No, okay, this is actually not really working at all. It was a cool idea. If I could get more of those things, then maybe. There's just so many enemies. So many enemies. Uh, come on, run, run, run. They are just all over the place and they're really, really trying to get me. I need my little mo monster to get back over here and help me out, but they move quite slow. So I guess I will try to figure this out in time. The problem is they're all just taking chase on me at the moment. So if I could just real quick, real quick, do that and then get them to leave me alone. I don't have many arrows, but I have enough to just get rid of, what? One more opponent, what? Okay, wow, thanks game. <laughs> that was ridiculous. It's okay. So we get them a few more times. Can you get out of here? Jeez. Not good, I mean, they're still flaming up a lot more of the enemies over there. So if I could just run up this way now, smack you. Can you stop hitting me with that really long? No, 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 come on, this is so tough. I just have no time to breathe. Poor Link. So it seems like, oh, here we go. Maybe I needed to be a little bit more stealthy about it. They're all fighting those monsters and they don't see me because of that. So this is our chance maybe, just maybe, build another one over here. Then we'll send this one going over to them. Okay, one of them did unfortunately notice me. I'm gonna try to knock them out like that, switch over to this guy, go like this, add this to it, and I gotta do this fast. Uh, okay, I'm feeling the pressure here, feeling the pressure. Okay, that was so baloney. There's something in between us, you know? You'd think that'd be enough, but isn't quite. That's okay, that's all happening now, so hopefully that fight will continue. They might try to chase me afterwards, but for right now they're just getting speed by fire. It feels like a good deal. Um, I will. Just activate that one from this distance. And while there's a bunch happening over here, I think we can at least sneak behind. And you know what? If you're gonna be over here still, this is a great chance to apply the laser emitter. There we go. Now we can have some fun. Really? Okay, um, that was funny, but come on. Um, the only problem with that, right, is that it's not attached correctly. Um, there we go. Come on. It's still not attached correctly. Difficult to do this in the heat of the moment, but there we go. Look at the laser doing its thing. They don't even really seem to notice it, so I wonder if I could just, yeah. Uh, maybe if I just walk up to because, hey guys, uh, I might need a better angle. But I think, ow, that would be a cool idea if it worked. There we go, come on. Oh, the worst, the worst. It's okay. We're really low on health still. It doesn't take much for us to lose more of it. But I do see you over here. Come on, come on, I can't miss this one. Ready? Got it. This is my chance to knock you out. I'm really gonna take it. We have seven damage on this, so knock you out down, pick up whatever you drop. There's a pretty good uh, soldier horn there. So I want to drop that right here. I wanna switch to this. This is such a difficult, this might actually be one of the most difficult shrines we've seen so far, just for a lot of reasons. I do see this guy still being fought over there. I definitely wanna to switch to this, if possible. And then, what do we wanna do? This, okay, they're coming over now. So, oh no, 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 don't risk it. How did they not hit them? <laughs> it, the, the shot went right through. What a shame. Okay, this thing has been a total mess so far, but this thing fell off and I don't want that. So if we could just get up here, help it with the fight. There's a lot going on. A lot of it being delegated, which is fantastic. Okay, get you like that. Shoot you one more time. You're knocked out for a good second. This is my chance to really go crazy on you. And then steal that, steal that. Okay, here's a chance, for real. Gotcha. Excellent. 
I'll take all this and we're getting a whole lot closer to making this work. There's still a couple more constructs left over and it doesn't take them too much to actually knock me out. I just have to be really careful, but if I could just line that up maybe over there. Uh, never mind. I just don't want the explosion to hurt me now. I think you're the last one. So if I could just do that and then knock you out with something. Come on, quickly, quickly. Uh, gotcha. All right, that was so tough, but with all of our little battle bots here, we finally find a way. Your equipment will be returned to you. I'm glad to hear it. Okay. So that was really fantastic. Even though it did take us a good couple of tries, I'm glad we can make it happen. Um, let's get over here and open up this treasure chest, see what we got in this one. We got the Captain Four Spear, whoa! A powerful Zonite Spear made of Zonite. This thing is super powerful at 53 damage. I will gladly take that as we head out of the shrine and continue exploring Akala. All right, so we're back out here. What are we doing next? That dragon is still flying around. I think we need to make our way to this tower because this is an exciting moment. If we get this tower, we have cleared up all of the map throughout Hyrule. And that's fantastic. And in a way, we've done it twice so, you know, because we've done it in Breath of the Wild. And I'll be doing it here in Tears of the Kingdom. So that is always good to know. But after this, I know that Terrytown is to the right of us right now. I guess to the south. Southeast, sort of. Whoa, lots of monsters over there. I don't know if there's like a tier five construct. It really doesn't seem like it at this point. Those are definitely some higher end constructs. We should probably try fighting them soon. But whoa, got a lot of creepy creatures no matter where we crawl off to. Is that a treasure chest? Oh no, it's more of these little battle bots. So it's cool that they are giving us some of these now that we have uh, sort of figured out how to use them. So I will attach that to the top of it and we'll give this one a spin. All right, have some fun out there. I believe in you. And then this one too. Oh, they don't know how to handle slight. Oh, that one wasn't even attached. So, ooh, my batteries are gonna drain fast with that. But they are tearing some stuff up over there. Okay, they seem very perplexed. And I was able to knock out. Ooh, they're on fire. There we go. I'm just gonna get over there and show you what's what then. Super slam on you and totally sort of missed, but it's okay. Uh, let's go with the Flux Core 3 Smasher and get to spinning and then hope that, okay, that wasn't so bad. Our weapon does break from it, but we can just try some other stuff. This thing, also not too much damage to it, but it swings pretty quick. So I will just keep going. I, I guess that worked. I don't really know what happened there. Come on. Ooh, no, wait, I want your stuff. Get back here. All that silver, moblin, gear really useful to have. So I will pick that setup up really fast. And I'm pretty sure that like, is this Terrytown? Are those plots for new buildings? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's like a roller coaster. What is up with that? I can't wait to see. But, uh, oh, and then there's a, uh, the bubble gem guy over there, whatever his name is, I forget right now. I definitely also want to deal with that flying monster, but this tower looks free for the taking for the most part. There is somebody up there, but this is the Ulri Mountain Skyview Tower. Hello. Oh no, the, the, I guess the thing that we interact with is gone. Huh? We met a, another Skyview Tower, didn't we? I dashed here as fast as I could and it looks like you're pretty fast too. Did you come to see the Skyview Tower? I hate to say it, but things are a bit of a mess right now. A mess? Oh no, I see, I see. Right up there, the terminal. Uh, that flying monster took the terminal from the Skyview Tower. Ha. Good grief. That sicky clawed terror has a habit of stealing things. I'll never fix the Skyview Tower at this rate. Well, maybe I could help. You know, they're right over here. I just take a shot. Huh? Where did it go? Uh, I got it. Uh oh. I've lost sight of that monster. Uh, the terminal. Must have fallen somewhere, though. I can't fix the Skyview Tower without it. Huh? Well, I would love to help. So where exactly did it fall off to is the question. Oh, right here. Uh, so I will just pick it up and bring it over. And then we'll have this Skyview Tower fixed. This was a pretty simple one overall, right? <laughs> so that's always cool. Just gotta get over here. And I guess maybe angle it up a little bit better because I don't know exactly, I think like this. And 
Okay. Oh. Mister, you got the tower's terminal back. Oh. Let's install it in the Skyview Tower. No time to waste. I guess there isn't. <laughs> I'll tighten this and done. There, that's not going anywhere, even if a monster is real determined. Oh. I couldn't have done it without you. I really appreciate it. So there we go, that was pretty simple. Ah. Thank you, that really helped me out. Now I think I'll squeeze in a break, just for a while. So let's go ahead and activate our final Skyview Tower. It's been so much work clearing up Hyrule and getting all of it on our Pura Pad, and this is the last step we needed. So let's get to launching. I'm so excited about this. So all of the ground and sky of Hyrule will be fully unveiled. At this point, all we'll have to worry about is the depths, which is definitely on my to-do list. But let's not let that take away from this extremely special moment. Off we go. All right. And there's quite a lot to do in this area that I think we're gonna be scouting out here. That mysterious cube floating in the sky where the dragon's tear dropped in that spiral island. And I think so much more to the northeast here. There was that one uh, stable that apparently has something going on as well as the uh, Terrytown. Definitely an area piquing my interest. Okay, so here we are. Whoa, surface map complete. Very cool. And sky map complete. And now we're falling back down. So there we go. I'm just sort of taking this view and enjoy this moment. There's another flux construct over there. The Sukala Sky Archipelago here in the Akala Highland Sky. Not anything I'm gonna worry about for right now. Honestly, I just wanna go right back where we started, if not anything else. A lot of the other stuff we'll explore soon, but I guess if anything, I can maybe get over to our friend here and cash in some of these bubble gems before the night ends. But there's quite a few shrines out here. I see one there, 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 and I think there was one more out that way, but I can't see it, see it right now. So three shrines in total that we can focus on later on. But let's go and talk to you. Bubble Gems is Colton. Yeah. Good evening, traveler. It's a fine night. Yes, very fine. Oh, and here are some pants. <laughs> what? What is that I sense? Traveler, could it be that you have gobs of Bubble Gems in your possession? 21 of them. If you have Bubble Gems, I'll trade them for treasure. Uh, what kind of treasure? The next treasure is one you've been waiting for, fashionable as well as valuable. It's the Mystic Trousers. Have you been enjoying the mystic robe I gave you before? Well, they, these mystic trousers are rare treasure with the same power as that mystic robe. But the two together? Well, there's no doubt that a top and bottom set will make the power even more powerful. Go on, what do you say? If you have bubble gems, I'll trade them for treasure. All right, sure. Hmm, let's see. If you give me four bubble gems, I'll give you one item of value. Ooh, yes, yes, I'll give you the mystic trousers. Sounds fair. I'm overjoyed, yes I am, I knew you'd come through, Traveler. I'll dally no more, here I go. Gulp. Ooh, my body is filling with mysterious pow, power. I need more bubble gems, I must have more. Ugh, I'm sorry. Now that I, I am myself once more, please, here's the treasure I promised you. So we got the Mystic Trousers, which of course is ruby padding just like the shirt or whatever it was, the top part. Uh, trousers acquired in exchange for bubble gems. Each thread is blessed by spirits, protecting the wearer by allowing them to lose rupees instead of health when hit. Of course, if you happen to have any remaining bubble gems, I'll happily trade them for treasure. What kind of treasure? What is that thing? Um. This white mane Lionel Mace horn comes from a particularly ferocious specimen, even by Lionel standards. I don't know if we've gotten one of those before. We've defeated a silver Lionel. So I don't know if that's different. It's said that if you attach it to the tip of a weapon, that weapon will be filled with rock smashing power. Go on, what do you say? If you have the bubble gems, I'll trade you for treasure. Let's see it. Hmm, let's see if you give me four bubble gems. You got it. So it looks like we'll have at least three more treasures after this. <laughs> I'm so happy. I don't know more. Here I go. Unless the price goes up, of course, which might be the case. Ooh ha, what is that strange feeling running upwards and downwise my body? It's, it's still not enough, not enough bubble gems. 
Not that my cell phones more, please. Here's the treasure I promised you. So this is the white maned Lionel Mace Horn. The claw-like ends of this white maned Lionel Horn are all extremely hard. Attach it to a weapon to greatly increase its attack power or cook it with a critter to make an elixir. Great. Of course, if you happen to have any remaining bubble gems. Oh, what is this? That looks like a horrible one. Yeah, this horrible mask was a gift for my big brother, Kilton. Look, look, this mask is so realistic, it could fool an actual Horriblin. You want one, you do, so I ask, why not add it to your collection? Sure. For this one, still four bubble gems, so that's a pretty good deal for us. We'll still have nine left over. I am overjoyed, yes I am, I knew you'd come through, Traveler. I'll dally no more, here I go. So they'll eat that up, we'll get our reward. Ooh, my body's filling with Mysterio's pow power. Okay, same thing as before. Uh, we got the horrible mask. Kilton's handmade horrible and headgear. The big nose and smiley mouth look just like the those of the real monster. Equip it to blend in with the horriblins. Oh my. Of course, if you happen to have any remaining bubble gems. Okay, what kind of treasure now? It looks like, whoa. Those Gleok wings come from one of those giant three-headed monsters that have been seen of late. If you fix them to a weapon or arrow, they'll stabilize your stance and greatly increase the weapon's range. Go on, what do you say? If you have bubble gems, I'll trade them for treasure. So, yeah, sure. Let's see, Gleok wing might be of interest. I'll give you two of them for four bubble gems. So exciting. So. He's gonna eat that up. I will get myself some Gleok wings. Mm, ah, I feel something bubbling up from deep inside me, I think. More, give me more bubble gems. Okay, so let's go ahead and get these Gleok wings times two. They have the 24 damage fuse attack power. This aerodynamic wing segment from my Gleok is thin and light, but extremely sturdy. Arrows and thrown weapons fly farther with this item attached. Fantastic. Whoa, okay, so let's see the description for this one. This Lionel mask was a gift from my big brother Kilton. I tell you, this mask is so very elaborate and realistic, it could fool one of those beastly Lionels. I'm certain you want one, you must, so why not add it to your collection? Okay, four more bubble gems, you got it. I can't believe we'll get a Lionel mask. That's just so exciting. We'll just be able to blend in with them. So you're gonna eat that up. You're gonna say the same things you always say, but we get the Lionel mask, Kilton's handmade Lionel headgear. It's so well crafted, it can deceive a real Lionel. Equip it to blend in with Lionels, but don't linger too long. Those beasts are smart. Oh my, so I wonder what your next reward will be. Unfortunately, I can't quite afford it, but is that like a, what is that? Gleok Thunderhorns, oh man. Quite the reward, I don't have enough, unfortunately, but I will come again once I have more gems. So with that out of the way, look at this. Full map here, so cool to see it. But right now, my goal is lying and going back to Terrytown. Just because we haven't been there yet and I'm really curious to see how things will go. But I don't know what these plots are. Like they must be an expansion to Terrytown in some way. So that's good to know. Cause yeah, typically we would come in from that way. You can see there's a shrine over there, but we're at the Hudson construction site in the Akala Highlands. I don't know, maybe I should come at it from a different angle. Are these monsters over here? Uh. Oh yeah, they are. Uh, well, let's try to help out Terrytown a little bit by getting rid of these monsters, huh? Okay, you know what? Here, you can have it. About to break anyways. Switch over to the Silver Boss Boko Axe. And then I see this guy. I want to hit both of them at once. I'm able to do that pretty well. Because that's a big building and everything there. But I want to want to check out the, uh, ow, the main Terrytown first, if possible. Okay, you're going to drown, which is actually really nice, because it means I don't actually have to fight you. Um... And what got dropped over here that was glowing? I'm not quite sure. Um, probably the shield. But I will just head up this way and see if we can't do a little bit of a sneak attack. I don't know how sneaky this is, seeing how you have your bow drawn, but... Gotcha. Okay, cool. So we get a bunch of arrows and everything else from here. That's really good to see. And then, I don't really have too much to break this stuff. One more. Got it. Okay, so... Pretty nice. I don't see too much more. I do want to grab that. So it might be worth throwing the sturdy wooden stick, which is, but it's extra durable. Is it more durable than this? I don't think so. I wish that there was like something that would give me an idea of truly how durable. Okay, if there's no monsters around here, I might as well wait till morning. I think that would restore my health. I guess we'll have to wait and see. 
It doesn't. <laughs> okay. I guess I have to sleep in the bed for that to happen. Was there anything else around here? Any treasure chest or anything? Doesn't seem like it. So yeah, let's try to walk over to Terrytown. All right, so we're just gonna walk the long way around, but honestly, this is one of the areas, I don't know why, but from Breath of the Wild, I sort of remember the most, maybe not in like actual details of like what is everywhere, but more so just the memory of flying around here and doing different things and the quests with Terry. It just, it was very cool. So I'm really happy to sort of be in this area again. And it's sort of interesting that was the last area we got to. That wasn't intentional. It just sort of happened that way, but. I see you over there and you over here. These guys are tough, but not too tough. So I think we can handle them. I think we'll switch over to this Captain Four Spear. Hit you a couple of times. And we should be able to get arrows out of you. So I would like to just keep attacking. I just set you on fire. Uh, that was interesting. Maybe I won't get, whoa. Um, any arrows out of you. Hard to tell for now, but I'll give you a smack and then I'm just gonna dismount. I can't quite see what's happening. There we go. Because usually if they're holding that stuff, they usually also have a bow and arrow, but maybe not this time. I guess not. Okay, we'll leave it be. But I do see Addison so close to uh, Hudson Construction. Pretty fitting, right? So we'll go and talk to you for sure. But uh, what is going on with the sign? Okay, this one seems pretty simple. Not anything we haven't run into before. We'll just get this here. Seems like a lot of them have had the same solution lately. Oh no, come on, got it. I get back over here. I line this up as much as I can. Just like that. And do this here. Maybe. Uh, I might wanna move some things over, but honestly, if it stays, because, oh, this isn't attached, so that's actually perfect, because now that it all sort of slot together, you wanna try letting go here? Perfect. He's not gonna fall, he's not gonna even budge. So there we go, yet another sign. Perfect. With your help, President Hudson is now standing. Nice, 20 rupees as per usual. We're back over a thousand now too. The energizing seafood rice balls gives us two and a quarter wheels, it looked like. That was crazy and a bonfire. Ah. All right, see you, Addison. Okay, so a little bit of an interesting tower over this way, and I can see that leads down here is, like I said, something we'll focus on later on. But there's a fork in the road here with plenty more monsters. This whole area is crawling with baddies. You can see even more silver ones too, so. Won't be easy to fight them. I'm a little bit battled out at the moment though. I would like to just sort of walk up here and make my way to Terrytown. I do know of that shrine. And there used to be, what was it? Somewhere around here, I think there used to be a, a great fairy, but they've all moved to different locations. So it's not quite the same. And that's another thing. <laughs> the list of things to do in this game are still so long. We need to defeat dragons and gliots. We need to find all the shrines. We need to go to um, the, Korok Forest, we need to get the Master Sword and the t Dragon Tear. Here we are! Whoa, Terrytown! We need to explore Terrytown! And of course, we need to still free all of the, um, all the great fairies. So, there's still a lot we're working on here. We can't do it all at the same exact time, so just one thing at a time, and right now it's exploring Terrytown, for sure. I'm chasing this poor fox into the town. I'm trying to go faster than you, but <laughs> here we go. We have finally made it to Terrytown in the Kala Highlands. Whoa, what does this say? Hyrule Restoration Materials, okay. So this is where all those Hyrule Restoration Materials come from. Shop from the best. See, this is also like a big marketplace, so I guess I'll just start talking to people and exploring around Terrytown. Hi there, Uh, can we chat with you? This is Pelison. Break it down, son and done. Sir, have you regretted attaching something to your weapon or shield? That's the, the time to tap me. Pellison, here at the Break Apart Shop. Faster than you can blink, zip za. It'll be, be back to how it was before. Ooh. It just cost 20 rupees. You wanna break something down? Break what now? <laughs> <laughs> You're curious how I do it. I figured out how to break things apart from disassembling stuff I don't need anymore here in my workshop. Ooh. Only I, the great Pellison, am capable of this craft. 
if you get something got something attached to something else I can break them apart and return them to their original state yeah. it just costs 20 rupees you want to break something down uh, not at the moment but that is good to know so if I manually break something off a weapon it dis disappears and gets destroyed um, here I guess I could still retain yeah. it if you ever attach something by mistake just leave it to the great palace and undo what you did sounds like a plan now what about you over here hi uh. whatever you need Welcome to the general store operated by Hudson Construction. You'll know us by our motto, son and done. Uh, am I right that this is your first time in our shop? Did you come because you heard that we started carrying monster extract? That's right, I'm proud to be the only merchant who sells monster extract. My main business used to be useful things you can attach to arrows for a little extra oomph. But a contact of mine helped me source monster extract and now I have a sideline in that too. If you're interested, I can hook you up, son and done. I'm here to sell. Okay, well actually I don't have too much I want to sell, but uh, uh, if you stick things together that you didn't mean to, try talking to Pellison over there. You'll have them separated in a jiffy and return them to you, no sweat, son and done. Okay, so what's going on with this monster extract? A result of Kilton's research into monsters, this suspicious spice can be used to punch up dishes while cooking. Apparently it can be used to make a number of monstrous meals. Oh. Interesting. Um, I guess I'll take two of them. I'm just very curious to see what these really do for me. Maybe we can try to figure out a recipe. I'm so glad something caught your eye. We have more to offer, so don't be shy. Just bye, bye, bye. Well, I gotta keep in mind my finances, but good to know. Um, we got some dazzle fruit over here. Some bomb flowers can always be useful, but at a pricey 40 rupees, I think I'll just find them on my own. What is going on over here? It's like a little cave. Whoa, <laughs> this is cool. Uh, oh, hey, it's Colton. I'll put the Pokemon here. Why, hello there, you are Kilton. Kilton was the one over there. It's an honor to see your face with my eyeballs once again, and on such a pretty, pretty, or er, a pretty, pretty day, no less. You met again with my younger brother, Kilton, didn't you? I can smell it. He is a bit eccentric. I know, I know. But I hope you'll find it inside your heart to treat him with kindness. Ah, where are my manners? I've yet to greet you properly. Kilton, at your service. Once upon a time, I made goods from monster parts, you see, and traveled about selling them from my shop. But once I had saved up a tidy little nest omelet, I gave that stall to my younger brother. Now I've purchased this plot of dirt land so that I can, at last, make a real dream. I've dreamed since I was a wee Kilton. Sadly, it seems the president of Hudson Construction is very busy, and I can't take my next step forward without him. Still, it's only a matter of time before my dream is not a thing stuck inside my skull, but a thing here in the world instead. <laughs> eee, I'm a quiver with excitement at the thought of it. What is your dream? Mm -hmm. The truth is, and this is just between you and me, I have adored monsters ever since I was a wee Kilton. Oh, uh, how strange. This is usually the part where you say, <laughs> what? Monsters? Disgusting. But here you are, so sensitive to my sensitivities. I know, I know, monsters are violent creatures and despise the world over because of it. That I can't deny. But they're also misunderstood. The way everyone hates them without even trying to understand them. Pitiful, tragic. And so I will educate the world about monsters. And once the world understands monsters, they will love monsters. That is my dream. But for my plan to succeed, I require the assistance of the finest carpenter in all the land, Hudson. <laughs> Hee hee hoo hoo! As soon as Hudson is done with his other business, you must come back. I promise you a monstrous spectacle the likes of which no one has seen before. All right, well, I'll definitely be willing to help out with that, if not anything pure curiosity. So Hudson seems to be pretty busy these days. Proud of him. Oh my, it's a traveler, darling. Terrytown has grown quite popular after all. It's all thanks to President Mudson. Hudson, darling, not Mudson. You shouldn't forget the founder, a founder of Terrytown, Hudson. He's the president of Hudson Construction, who built this town. Eh? Didn't they open an office around here? I guess right down that way. Ooh, okay. I think that might be Hudson's wife over there too. Over there, darling. It's the place with the sign you always mistake f for Hudson and say hello to. <laughs> Sorry about that. My husband has been getting more forgetful lately. Never mind us. Please enjoy your visit. Will do. So they were lovely. Oh, and there's an inn here too. I might have to sleep with that later, but uh, for now, wait up! Ugh, come on, can't you see I'm playing a game with Madison? She says it's special training for dealing with someone called, a, something called a foe. I think these foe things are some kind of monsters or something. I guess I better watch out for them too. I guess so. Okay, here's Madison. Well, I guess, oh, is this her daughter? That's so cute. Savota, 
Hey, mister, are you a friend of Papa's? He was gone for a long time, but now he's back home. I'm gonna be moving so soon, so I gotta make sure I play with Papa and every son else a whole bunch while I still can. Sounds great. So I guess, you know, they've been sort of growing a little family here, it's so cute. Nobody seems to be inside of this one. But that's all I wanna do today is just explore Terrytown and talk to everybody. Son and done. Clicking quality, blink, and we're done. Dream homes, the envy of every son. Oh, excuse me, do you have business with Hudson Construction? If you need to speak with the president, he and his wife are a little busy right now. Busy? Mm -hmm. Just between you and me, it sounds like there's a bit of a conflict in the family. You see, Hudson and his daughter, they, oh, her name is Madison, lovely girl. Anyway, wait, let me start over. Because of his wife's village's customs, oh, she's a Gruta, by the way, her name is Ronson. Hudson recruited her when he built this village, so, oh no, look at me talking about things that are none of my business, and to a complete stranger. Please forget everything I just said. I mean, some of it we already knew because we helped them get married. <laughs> Maybe Hudson's busy. You okay? Uh, we woke them up? Huh? You waiting for Brezen to Hudson? He looks just like how he's painted on the Hudson construction sign, which helped me figure out just who he is. Then I saw him, but he was yammering away, so I waited and uh, fell asleep. Anywho. A bunch of Zonai devices and other stuff fell smack on top of their construction workshop, where they could use a hand getting things back up and running, so I came on out to help. No. It seems I'll have to keep waiting, since Hudson's still at it. Huh, well maybe we can help out with that too. So, Hudson was right if he used the sign. Um, what does this sign say? Interested in making your dream home come true? Hudson Construction is, is there for you. With our unique room by room building style, you take the rooms and we take we make and then create the perfect layout for yourself. Please talk to Ronson at reception to turn your ideal home into a reality. Hudson Construction. All right then, so you're overthinking it. I'm so worried. What's going on? Just yesterday, she was talking about it happily. Perhaps you're overthinking it? Though I do understand. Now you I know you're worried about Madison moving. Lenari told me that Madison has been acting real cheerful lately. I can't help but wonder if she's, you know, just putting on a bold face. After all, she's going to be picked up soon. <sighs> Please, if you keep acting like this, it will only make it more difficult for Madison to leave. This is a once in a lifetime journey for a Gerudo. We should support her and give her a grand send off. <sighs> You're right, of course, it's a special journey and we should do something big for her. <gasps> ah, a customer? Welcome to Hudson Construction. Let me guess, you're in the market for a dream home, right? That's a, no surprise. Our unique modular building style lets you put rooms together to create the perfect home. But I'm so sorry, we're still not ready to open for business. Mm -hmm. Wait, it's you. Ooh. Look who it is, it sure has been a while. You know, thanks to you, Terrytown is doing real good. Nowadays, it's the kind of village that welcomes folks from all over to come and live in peace. Oh, and we have a daughter. Looks just like her papa. She's wonderful. My little Madison. Hudson, you've gotta get it together. Sorry, I've gotta go. We're kinda busy right now. I'm going back to work now, Ronson. But don't worry, I'll try to think of something nice to do for Madison. Madison's independence. Hudson and Ronson of Hudson Construction were discussing the pending departure of someone named Madison. Ronson seems upbeat about it, but Hudson looks sad. He appears to be worried about something. Well, let's try to figure it out then. We were so deep in conversation, we hardly made time for you earlier. Sorry about that. You know, here at Hudson Construction, we like to say, Ooh. it's done and done. And I'm and here I am, president of the company. I'm supposed to be strong and decisive, uh. but when it comes to my own child, I feel so unsure about things. Child? Uh. I mentioned her earlier. We have a daughter named Madison. She's wonderful. All the best parts of me and my wife, Ronson. But Madison is, well, soon she's going to leave and move to my wife's birthplace, Gerudo Town. Ooh. The Gerudo have a law that say they can't associate with men until they come of age, you see. I mean, it's fine when they're very young, but when they start to become more aware of the world around them, someone comes from Gerudo Town to pick them up. I've been told that, for Gerudo, spending time in Gerudo Town is an honor. Mm. And Madison does seem to be looking forward to it. Anyway, I want to give her a big send off, but I I didn't realize this would be so hard for me. Ah, sorry you had to listen to me go on a, on like that. I really should get back to the job site soon. Mm. I want to spend more time with my little girl before she has to leave, but I have so much work to do. My wife has her hands full too, 
with that preparing Madison with, with what what with preparing Madison for the move, she's so busy. She can't even take work requests. Mostly, I just wish someone could spend time with Madison so she didn't feel so lonely. Well, that's definitely something we could help with. And he's gone. All right, Madison's independence updated. It seems Hudson's only daughter, Madison, is moving to Gerudo Town on her own in accordance with Gerudo law. Both Hudson and Ronson regret that they are too busy to play with Madison, especially since it won't be long before she leaves. Hi. The Gerudo region doesn't get rain, so she won't need any of her rain gear. It's hot during the day, of course, but the nights get cold. I should pack some warm things. Oh. Ah, sorry, I was distracted. I was just thinking about what I should give my daughter before her big move. She's been doing so much between making her friends with the villagers here and studying in her room. I wanna support her however I can. <laughs> when she's off on our journey, I think I'll start accept, uh, accepting dream home requests again. I'm sorry, but I hope you can wait until then. Oh, nice, so we got some character profiles added for Ronson and Hudson, the owners of Hudson Construction. This married couple runs the company that has been key to projects during the long reconstruction of Hyrule, including the creation of Lookout Landing and the Skyview Towers. Hudson has unparalleled skill as a builder, and together with the Gerudo Taylor Rodson, they helped found Terrytown. They also have a daughter named Madison. So very cool. So yeah, there we go. We're making progress with Madison's independence. There's a lot we're doing here. So we'll try to catch up with uh, Hudson and everybody else soon enough. That's the company's storehouse. However, the door seems to be stuck and can't be opened from the outside. Maybe something's blocking it inside? Huh, well maybe that's something I can help with if I can find my way under it. But for now, I just wanna explore as much of the town as we can. Maybe we'll catch up with Madison a little bit more. We can get some information from her. I mean, from what it seems they just wanted her to not be alone. And then look who it is. Um, let's see. So this is her room. Good morning is Savota. Good day is Savak. And goodbye is... What is goodbye? Huh? Sorry. Don't frighten me like that. For a second, I thought you were here to take me away on my big journey. I'm doing all this studying because I'm moving to Mama's hometown soon, where she's from. This There's this amazing language called Gerudo. I want to teach every son in the village to speak it too, so I've made it my Miss son to memorize as many words as I can. <laughs> hey, would you like to learn some words too, mister? If so, your timing couldn't be better. I'm about to go give a less son to Granny Minari. You should come too. After some instruct sons from me, you'll be speaking Gerudo in no time. <laughs> For this less son, I'm going to be giving a Gerudo quiz. You should try it. Madison's independence updated again. Hudson and Ronson's daughter Madison is studying the Gerudo language in preparation for her move. She's going to find Granny Minari and said something about giving her a quiz. So I'll have to find Granny Minari as well, but this looks like some notes from Madison. Madison wrote for her move, but they're so cute. I like it. It's the first page. Note number one. Say the Gerudo greetings clearly, smoothly, and easily. Good morning is Savota, not Sabota. Boys are vo, not be, no be. Grandma is vapa, v and b, so mean. And thank you is sarkso. Note number two, the chief's pet is special. The chief has a really neat pet. Her name is Patricia. Patricia is a special sand seal. She can read people's forts since, <laughs> interesting. Note number three, no talking to vo. Once I go to mama's hometown, I won't be able to talk to vo anymore. Mama says it's a Gerudo custom. I guess I'll just need to talk to all the foe before I get there. No number four, must not. I must, 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 must not cry. No crying. No, no number three, not talking to the, oh no, okay, okay, we're good. That was all of them. I really hope that we can at least give her less reasons to cry. That's, that'd be one good thing. So I'm really curious if there's like a cave under here. There is, okay. So let's go to this to see if we can zip our ba way back up. Discovery, we have found Terrytown Tunnel in Akala Highlands. So maybe I'll try to break a couple of things around here if I can. What do we got here? Just some rock salt and opal. Break this one open too. Get some flint out of it. And we're supposed to ascend up somewhere. But I guess before we do, if we could find you. Here, gotcha. <laughs> that was a pretty simple one, so we're already building up our bubble gem collection. Once more, we got it. And then I would like to raise ourselves right here. Okay, whoa, <laughs> it was the Terry down sign. Well, let's just go ahead and put in the rest. Was there anything else in here? 
Besides this stuff? It's just signs of, um, Hudson. Oh, thank you. Not being able to open that door was really starting to annoy me. So a cutout was blocking the door? Well, I appreciate your help getting it out of the way. I'll just move these out back so they can't go and block the door again. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Phew, that should do it. Oh. They're a bit banged up, so I was planning on throwing them out, but you're welcome to them too. Uh, okay. I don't see why I would need them, but maybe they'd be useful at some point. <laughs> I thought I heard your voice coming from upstairs. Sark so for being so concerned about my daughter. Did she convince you to take lessons too? It's a game she came up with to get others to learn along with her. If it's not too much trouble for you, I'm sure it'd make her happy for you to go along with it. She used to burst into tears whenever she had trouble with a lesson. I remember her trying to say the V in Savota. Oh. Anyway, once she's off on her journey, I think I'll start accepting dream home requests again. Sorry for the trouble, but check back with me later, all right? Will do. So I don't exactly know where the grandma is, but ooh, it looks like we have another thing over here. All's well. This is a shrine thing. Hmm. I thought it might be valuable when I picked it up, but this weird rock is giving me the creeps. I've got to hurry and find some sucker to, hmm? Adding to the construction site, huh? There's a small fee to use the rail car. I'll collect that for you. It's 20 rupees, no exceptions. But you only need to pay it once. One fee, unlimited rides, that's a bargain. How about it? The rail car? Let's we'll learn about it a little bit more. But yeah, this looks so cool. It's President Hudson's pride and joy, an amazing contraption connecting Terrytown and the construction site. There's been a lot of strange happenings lately, things falling down from the sky right onto the construction site. Hudson has turned into quite a, an, the inventor. Best I can tell, he takes what falls out of the sky and experiments until he makes something new. The rail car is a perfect example. It's so simple to control that anyone can do it. Just give it a whack. What's that rock? Oh. Are you interested in this rock? I found it buried at the construction site. It's a rare rock, so I stole, I mean, I took it as a memento. <laughs> but if you're interested, I would consider selling it. For you, a, spe a special introductory offer of 100 rupees. What do you say? I'll take it. <laughs> rock for sale. Interesting. Uh. Oh. Hey, what are you doing? Ruli? Who's Ruli? This is really the person with the broom. Are you trying to sell random junk for outrageous prices again? Look at that thing. It's basically just a really big piece of flint. I'd call 60, no 50 rupees a more than fair price. But, but I already said an absolutely fair price. And he might have, okay, no need for the stern wife look. Well, what do you say? It's a real deal at just, just 50 rupees. I'll take it. What? He's actually gonna buy this weird rock I found? It's my lucky day. Ooh. That's great, you have a good eye, sir. This is definitely a very valuable rock, so you've made a wise purchase. And now, this rock belongs to you. No refunds. All right, so for 50 <gasps> rupees, we get this shrine rock. I'll place it in the back for whenever you're ready to take it to its new home. Huh. Which I don't know where that is, but we might as well. I guess we technically got it for sale, or finished, rock for sale. Uh, you bought the weird rock from, from Haggy for 50 rupees. If his wife really hadn't intervened, you might have had to pay 100 rupees. <laughs> well, I'm glad we did it, but there we go. The rock for sale shrine quest is complete. So let's see what else Haggy will say. So 50 rupees for a weird rock I picked up, huh? Well, that's not so bad. Hmm? Ah, you again. I charge a fee to use the rail car, but only if you, only you need to pay one. So let's go ahead and pay this. Very good, you're all set. Yes, profit, profit. The controls are simple, just give it a whack and uh, to either start or stop it. You're free to use it as you please now. <laughs> now that Hudson's back at the site, there's no one to stop me from collecting that fee. So I probably didn't even have to pay. <laughs> Maybe it was free to use. So very interesting. I don't know where we're gonna get this shrine rock. Two? Follow the beam to its end and offer the crystal there. Do so and I will offer you a light that banishes evil. I would love to. Way over that way. Good to know. I will leave it for now, but eventually we will go and get that shrine figured out. I have plenty of other things to worry about, like helping out Madison once we find their grandma. Maybe inside of this room? Anybody home? We'll have to check upstairs too, but just looking around Terrytown to see if we can't help with this quest specifically would be great. They're not quite in here. Is there any other buildings I have yet to check? Uh, 
No, it seems like we've gone full circle. Except for maybe, did we go in that building? Oh no, they're right here. Oh, that granny. It's less sun time. All right, Granny Minari, Savak. Oh my, you're in a good mood today, Madison. Is it time for another lesson? <laughs> of course, and it's a special occasion too, because a new student is joining the class. Okay, now pay attention, Granny Minari. It's time for Madison's Gerudo quiz. What is the Gerudo word for granny? Granny in the Gerudo is a, uh, hmm, what was it? It was Vaba. Ding, 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 that's right. You're doing really good. Maybe you've done this before? Ah, uh, yes, Vaba, it was on the tip of my tongue. Well, now there's one more Gerudo speaker around here. Thanks to Madison, I've grown rather knowledgeable about the language myself, you know. Hee <laughs> hee, <laughs> well, it's how they talk in Mama's hometown. So, if every son can talk like that here, well, then Mama won't be so lonesome, right? I feel better knowing Mama will be okay, but now I need to think of a way to help Papa. Hmm. I've got it! Papa is always so busy, so I'll just make it my Miss Son to help him with his work. Okay, I'm going to ride the rail car to the job site where he does all his work. I will too, I won't be far behind you. Oh. oh Madison, she had to grow up too quickly. At her age, she should be cl clinging to her mama and papa's legs, not working for sweat trying to make sure they're happy. Then again, maybe she won't have to. Ever since Haggy was put in charge of the rail car, it's become a whole lot harder to catch a ride. All right, well, Madison's independence has been updated. Madison has been teaching the Gerudo language to the people of Terrytown so that her mother, Ronson, won't feel so lonely. Now she's headed towards the rail car. She wants to help her father, Hudson, who's been very busy with work. Well, I can definitely help with that one too. So let's just catch right back up. Oh, you already seem so sad, has to be a way. I wanna ride the rail car so I can get to Papa's construction site and help him get his work done. But I forgot that guy won't give me permission to ride until I pay him. I think he'd give an exception for the boss's daughter, but I never had to pay until he took over. Guess I'm gonna have to hop aboard the rail car without him noticing. But how am I gonna do that all by myself? What I need is for someone to maybe cover his eyes or something. Huh. Madison wants to go to the job site to help Hudson with his work, but Haggy, who's in charge of the rail car that extends the site, is charging a toll. Madison doesn't have any money and is instead trying to figure out a way to obscure Haggy's line of sight. I mean, talking to you might help with that. Ooh. You wanna visit the construction site, feel free to use a rail car. So what if I just Ooh. talk to you? Do you think they'll sneak by? I don't think so. Yeah, okay, they're gonna tell me things I already know. So, what is there to maybe pick up around? Oh, I got an idea. Sorry, but the construction company is still using that cutout. If you want to take one for yourself, feel free to grab the one behind the construction company. Here we go. Okay, so what I probably wanna do here then is <laughs> make a little bit of a Hudson lineup. Okay. Something like that might do the trick. And then I guess we'll just put this in front. Whoa, I know, I'm gonna block it, don't worry. Would this work or would I need to, yeah, attach it there. Whoa, hey now, what do you think you're doing? You know I can see you, right? Bringing that over here like that, you're interfering with my business. Uh-oh, that didn't work. Where exactly do I need to place it? I'm a little confused. Uh, yeah, that didn't seem to work really. What happened to them all? Did they all get sent back? They did. What can I do instead? Um, I mean, maybe I just have to have them facing him. He'll realize their pictures of the boss and he'll let up a little bit. I just say I'm on company orders, right? I don't quite know. Um, I'll try it once more though. And maybe I could just combine it with this thing. That would be one funny way to do it. I'll put that one there. I'll put this one here. And we'll combine all of this stuff like this. Oh no, <laughs> that just made it fall over again. Attach it here though, and block his line of sight. Are you kidding me? <laughs> all right, uh, come on. Really? Oh, that's not good. Okay, so what can I do instead? Maybe I could just, Set this flat like this. 
I'm just trying to, I can't have it like that because then I'll definitely fall over, but oh, this is sort of painful. We'll find a way, we'll find a way. Is that better? No, come on. <laughs> I just needed to stand up. Come on, that has to work, right? It's not close enough, unfortunately. Here. Ah, oh, okay, turn them around, turn them around. That's gotta help, right? I'm losing my mind over this one. There. I mean, that looks good enough to me. Come on, this is your chance. Uh, I've got to ride the rail car, but I'm, I'm gonna have, if I'm gonna get to Papa's job and help him out. You can go now, here we go. Huh, mister, did you do that? Yes, I did. I'm kind of nervous about it, but I trust you. I'll run straight there. Let's see if you get caught. I hope not. Uh, Did it work? Come on, go, 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 you got it, you got it. Please don't notice, please don't notice. It looks like it did. I did it, my mission was a success. Yay, I can finally get the papa. Okay, I'm off. He's gonna be so happy to see me. Thanks for helping me with my mission. All right, see you, Madison. We'll catch up with you in a moment. I get to ride the rail car now. Okay, now it's updated again. Madison managed to evade Haggy and ride the rail car. Was she able to meet up with Hudson at the work site? That's exactly what I'm gonna find out. Uh, maybe. Where did the rail car go? It's way down there. Uh, does it make a return trip, or am I just gonna have to do this manually? I suppose I gotta do it manually. That's okay, it's not too big of a deal. We'll get over here and enter the Hudson construction site. Where well, there's a lot going on, for sure, but there they are. Oh, the music's a little different here, it's cool. Hi. Yeah. Time sure goes quick when you're working. Oh. I'm sure I asked H2 to send HQ to send a Goron to come help. Ah, oh, whatever. Someone's helping and that's all that matters for now. Name's Samson. I'm the leader of the Yonoboko boys here at the Hudson Construction tasked with cleaning up. Mm. This place is gathering a lot of attention. I heard it's being referred to as a Zonai treasure trove. And there's still more stuff falling from the sky. It's not showing any signs of flowing. Uh, Hudson Construction? Mm -hmm. Wait, you don't know Hudson Construction? So you weren't sent here to help? <laughs> as the leader of Yonoboko workers out here, I'm sworn to keep my mouth shut. You're not getting nothing out of me. Yonoboko? Mm -hmm. Wait, you don't know about, you don't know Yonoboko? So you weren't sent here to help? If you head northwest from here, you're like Goron City, and Yonoboko is, hold it. As the leader of Yonoboko, working, workers taken on the task of clearing this place for Hudson Construction, I swore to keep my mouth shut. You're not getting nothing out of me. <laughs> All right, sorry. Don't mean to invade your sworn secrecy. What's going on between you two? Huh? Hey, you didn't mention you were coming here too, mister. It's strange, Papa keeps mumbling to himself. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Ooh. Oh, it's you. So you know, I've been doing a lot of thinking. Trying to figure out what I could possibly do for Madison. He's right oh. next to you. And well, I came up with this. Gerudo Town is pretty far from here, but and there are plenty of monsters along the way. So I thought I'd make Madison her own special air balloon. Mm. But I want to make it really special, something just for her. Yeah, I'm just, not sure how to do that. Yeah. Special or not, I love the balloon you made, Papa. It looks like the sun. Mm. Definitely does. The sun. Ooh. That's it. Let's color it yellow like the sun. I've seen sun lines around here. I could use them to make a dye, but I'd get a beautiful shade. But I get a beautiful shade of yellow from them. But for me to dye something this size, I need ten of them. Oh. You need sun lines, Papa. Those are the bright yellow flowers, right? I'll make finding them my new mission. I appreciate the thought, but it's much too difficult. Sundelines are quite rare. I'm not even sure where you'd find them. Uh -huh. Don't worry, I've seen a sundelion before. It was attached to the ruins that fell from the sky. The sky, huh? So Madison's independence. Hudson is trying to make a balloon for Madison to help his daughter departure feel like a grand celebration. And he needs 10 sundelions so he can dye yellow, Madison's favorite color. I could definitely do that. Uh -huh. Hmm, bright yellow sundelions. You know, if it was attached to those ruins that fell from above, then maybe there's a flower field in the sky. Here's 10 sun lines. Huh? 
That's awesome. You did it. You really and truly collected 10 of them. What's this? You found them all for us? Looks like I'll have no problem dyeing the balloon the color of the sun. Aww, Aww I wasn't any help at all. I found my mission. That's not true, Madison. Your papa is about to turn this balloon into the sun, isn't he? I know, why don't you help me with that? Aww. I will, I will, papa. I'll help you make the sun. Ooh, okay, so they're getting to work. Little father-daughter combo. <laughs> Quick and quality, blink and we're done. That's why every son chooses Hudson Construction. Ooh. At last, it's done, and morning is already here. I'm just happy to get to watch my little one sleep a little long, a bit longer. Oh. Hudson. Oh, I wonder if they're here. Oh, Ronson, what's wrong? No, don't tell me. <sighs> yes, her escort has arrived and is waiting at the village entrance. Uh. I see. All right. Uh. Let's all go together then, in Madison's special sun balloon. Would you join us as well? Yeah, I guess I'll help. Whoa, we're way up here. Quite the view. <gasps> Wow, I feel like I've turned into a bird. <laughs> oh, Madison, don't make such a ruckus. Do you not want to fall from this height? Ooh. Hey, everyone, take a look at that. Whoa, such a view. <laughs> the sun is waking up. Oh. It's a blessing to start your, of your journey, Madison. Whether you're in Gerudo Town or Terrytown, never forget that we are all standing beneath the very same sun. The only distance that matters is the distance between our hearts. So you see, your mama will always be beside you. Oh. We'll be touching down soon. Hold on tight. Aw. Such a bittersweet exit, but I'm glad we could help. They'll all be you know, rejoining soon enough, I'm sure. They grow up so fast. And we're back. <gasps> Papa, your present made me very happy. <sighs> Madison, you know, if you get lonely, you can come back any... Sorry, never mind. Papa needs to be strong, just like you. My little Madison, it's time for you to go on your big adventure. And here's the oh. escort. Yes, it's time. Oh. You can trust me. I'll take care of your papa and mama. Don't worry, you can go. Go become a wonderful Vi, and come back with lots of stories to tell. I can't wait to hear about your adventures. I'll come visit you in Gerudo Town sometime. When I do, let's play again. <laughs> Thank you, every son. I mean, Sarkso. I'm going to become a great Vi like mama, and I'll meet a wonderful Vo like papa. Hi. Savork, every son. Bye! So sad. Oh, they seem so bummed. Ronson, did I manage to keep a smile on my face? <sighs> yes, you did great. She didn't cry, so it's good that we didn't cry either. Now, this is the start of a new life for us too. Mm -hmm. Let's pull ourselves together. If you're ready? <sighs> yes, you're right, of course. <clears throat> okay, I am... Ready. Oh. Ah, sorry about that. You know, you really were a big help to me. Honestly, I can't thank you enough. Those Sun Alliance were pretty valuable, weren't they? Well, as a way of saying thank you, please take this. Whoa, get a silver rupee. Oh. And this, for me. Another silver rupee. Oh. You've already helped me so much, but if you ever visit Gerudo Town, please check in on Madison. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? Have you forgotten the foe aren't allowed in Gerudo Town? Mm -hmm. Ah, right. I guess it slipped my mind. <laughs> well, maybe we're a little special exception. Now, I've got to get back to work. Don't you have a customer waiting for you, dear? I guess they do. 
quite a lot of customers, actually. So I guess Terrytown can get back to functioning shape now that we have finished Madison's Independence. Along with Ronson, Hudson and the other people of Terrytown, you saw Madison. Along with Ronson, Hudson, and the people of Terrytown, you saw Madison off on her journey to Gerudo Town. If you go to Gerudo Town, perhaps you can see Madison again. I would love to at some point for sure. So it looks like there's still quite a lot to do here in Terrytown and the Hudson Construction Company. So I think that's probably where we'll do some more next episode. We'll go down there and explore a little bit. And if there's nothing more we can do, then we'll go finally figure out things at the Wrist Peninsula and see if we can't find the final dragon's tier. There's once again, still so much more to do in this area, but we did a great job getting some stuff done because the whole map is cleared out now. So that is definitely great. But with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.